After merge query, we are going to discuss append query. In append query, we are joining table one after another. That means we are using append query whenever we want to stack data from multiple tables vertically. That is one on the top and then we are keep on adding data from multiple tables. So that's what append query does. So append query is different from the merge query. In merge query, the data are joined from multiple tables horizontally. Whereas in append query, the data is going to be joined vertically. It means in append query, if in existing table say we have got 20 data, same structure of table with same columns actually, if we have another table and we want to use that data again, we can put those data into the existing tables. That's what we are appending. So when we can use append query, when we have got sales data coming from multiple regions, and those data are in separate tables. We can combine all those data one above another in the append using append query. Another example, when you receive monthly data files and need to consolidate them into a single one. And if you are working with historical and current data set and which share the same schema, we can go for append query. Let us take one example. This is sample superstore sales data, which is very famous data set. From that, I have pulled some of the data sets. In the first table, you can see here, the region belongs to South. It means all nine records, nine records from second till 10th, all nine records are from South region. If you see another tables, my all data are coming from waste region. And in the third table, if you see all the data comes from central region. One more thing I want you to see that all these three tables have same columns, but the order in which the data are present that is different. For example, in the first table profit and sales, they are two last columns. Here category is the last column, here city is the last column. It means data is not present in the same order. Now, we want to collate all these data from multiple table in one table. So in this case, we are going to use append query. So right now we have got 10 records here, some records here, some records here. So as you are seeing these three tables, by using append query, we will be in position to add data one after another. So all data of the first table, now the heading will not come because the headings are already there. Now data from second table will be getting added below the first table. And when we add the third table, this also going to get added after the second table. So data of all tables, whether two or more than two, all are going to get appended or get added one after another. That's what we can do using append query. Now let us start working with append query. For that, start Microsoft Power BI Desktop import data from excel file and go to the location where you have downloaded your data file we are going to use append data query click on it and click on open you can see it has got three different tables one is central another one is south another one is west I have shown you these three data files just now. I would like to import all these three files. So tick all these three. Now when clicking on the first, you can see lot of null values are coming, which we need to get rid of. 
one column is also coming which we don't need when i'm clicking on second file that is south south data seems to be clean click on west west data also has got lot of null files null lot of null records okay so load all these three files by ticking on the check box which is just before the table click on load data will get loaded and it will appear here we can see the central table south table and west table all of them are appearing here they all have same column but order in which the columns are appearing they are different i kept it purposefully now we need to transform this data for that we need to go to power query for that we need to come in the home tab and click on transform data click on transform data this is power query editor window which is opened over here now for the central we can see that we have got 12 records and after that lot of null values are coming and we have a column also where null values are coming and i want to get rid of all these null values because they are not part of my record so for that what we will do we will try to remove it here if you come this place you see remove rows option is there click on this small button and click on remove blank rows and you can see that all blank rows has been removed and whatever work we are doing it is going to be applied over here we will discuss about it little later right now see that we have removed the blank rows now is the column is there now we want to delete this column also because it is of no use for us we can right click and we can remove it so my columns are removed you can see here in the step and my rows are also removed first we removed rows then first then we removed the column now come to the beginning here and click on apply to make whatever changes we done save so we clicked on save and so whatever changes we have made in the central that is saved now come to south check whether the data is correct or not this data seems to be correct no error click on west in west also we have got some null values so again we will come to remove rows and remove blank rows as per our requirement we can follow any of these operations to make the data cleanse and error free so i am going to remove blank rows and you can see that this data also looks perfect now we want to append all these three tables fine in order to append it we are going to append query we already worked on merge queries now second we are going to work on append query so this place click on append queries append queries in the existing or append queries as a new again your choice whatever you want i am going for append query as a new because these three table i don't want to disturb it belongs to central south and west i don't want to disturb this table so i'm going for append query as new click on this now it is asking can concatenate rows from two tables into a single table or three or more tables so if you click on three or more tables we can add all tables at a time 
or we can go for two tables like the which table here first table and second table and we can append so i'm going for two tables right now west and say south we are going to append so they will join two tables into a single table click on okay so we are getting append one and in append one we are able to connect we can see here this language is known as language m which is being used in power bi so table dot combine west and south now in append table we are going to append central so go to again append queries two tables which table we want to append now central we want to append to it click on okay so now south source central so this is the source table in that central has also been added so we are able to combine all the three tables together and this is the operation what append queries we have performed now i want to rename it so click on right click and rename as consolidated data so my table or consolidated data is ready total number of records we are having 41 let us check it here we have got 12 plus 9 21 21 plus 20 41 and come to this we have got these 41s record consolidated in the one place so this is how we can perform the append query operation using power bi after this click on close and apply whatever changes we have made that is going to be applied in the our third table that is consolidated data and the orders of the fields were different respective of that it is able to understand the data and for that respective field the data has been appended automatically